Rosie, we're here today for a serious reason. Hi. Good morning, everyone. We're here doing the news, but we feel like we need to discuss an important topic that is on many people's minds at Northwoods Elementary School. It's a hot topic. Hot in many ways. Mm -hmm. The topic is, you can say it. Cine minis. Also known as mini cinnies, but I've been corrected several times that the students call it cine minis. Oh, I thought they were always cine minis. No, the people that invented them called them mini cinnies. Oh, got it. There's a lot to learn. So basically what I've come to learn, well, first of all, there were these fourth grade boys that came, storming might be a strong word, but came into the office with passion to Fair. tell me they were starting a petition mm -hmm. regarding the Cine Mini being removed from the breakfast. Right, because the last Cine Mini day was maybe like seven days ago. Okay, so then on Tuesday night, I went to the PTO meeting. And do you know what we discussed at PTO? Did and the they... PTO is a meeting with parents. Parents talking about right. school experience, yep. you know, the carnival, the fifth grade party, and they brought up Mini Cinnies. Also known as Cine Minis. Right. So I'm like, wow, this is like a big deal. Yeah. So I have to understand. So I wrote to my friend who is in charge of food service. Oh. She orders all the products for our schools. She's willing to come too if we need to follow up with this any further. Okay. And explain why it was taken off the menu. Do you know why? Please tell us. Well, here's the story. Apparently, the number of grams of sugar oh. in a Cine Mini might exceed what a young person should consume before going to learn in the morning. Although delicious, it might feel like we just ate a thing of cotton candy, sort of. Or like a big donut. That's delicious, too. So... But we don't do that. No. No. So, we have to stay focused. You have to stay focused. Okay. Um, so... So, I've never been able to say those words to her, so I am enjoying that moment. Thank you. So, then, I got the information from Mrs. Sagadal about the sugar, and that they flipped the menu. Now, instead of the Cine Mini, bagel and cream cheese, wah wah, right? Even though I know we like that, but if you're eight, you might prefer something else. Right, because you and I love a good bagel. I know, but we're old. We're older, yes. Yes. So then, today, I went downstairs to Miss Claire, our amazing food service manager. Right. And I said, Miss Claire, do you have any Cine Minis? And do you know what she said? I think you're going to tell us. She said, that is classified information. She was unable to share it first because she didn't know what, what I was going to do. Okay. So I said, okay, could we please just have two if you have any left hidden? You know how like at home sometimes you have things hidden in the freezer? And this is a small miracle, so you can't tell anyone else we're doing this. Okay, but one other thing was today at lunch, third grade was making this petition. So this has not died. No, I'm telling you, yeah. this is current news. This, this is like... This continues to live on. Okay, so I don't want anyone to lose control. I want everyone to remain calm. Are you ready? I'm calm. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It is. It's a mini cine. Do you know, Miss Berg, I've never eaten one of these in my life. I know, and there's not many left. So the request I made to Miss Claire, who is exceptional, right. was could we ever have mini cinnies for a special occasion on an event? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you need that treat, but even if it's not in the regular menu, are there things we could do where we could say, Hey, it's a mini cine day. Like, that'd be kind of fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. And then we're still waiting to hear from the woman in food service, Mrs. Sagadal. Okay. But all we're going to do today is taste it to see if it's worth it, because I really don't... It doesn't look great. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, it doesn't look great either. There are one serving in here and 230 calories. So that's like a Snicker bar, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And there are 41 carbohydrates. The first ingredient, whole wheat flour. That's easy. Water, sugar, vegetable oil, I don't know, some other things that I don't even know what that means. All right, we're going to take a bite. Should and a lot about? of sugar. I don't know. Do you love it? No. 
I don't love it either. My mom makes a better cinnamon roll. Your mom's not here, though. I know, but she does. Well, their mom does, too. Mm-hmm. Okay, the best thing I heard from a parent today on my email, okay. they went on the intranets to see if they could buy them at home. Wow. You can only buy them in the case. in like So you'd get like a hundred of them at your house if this doesn't work, if you don't right. have them back here at school. So one thing I'm going to say is that the petitions in some ways have worked because you're advocating, you're trying to find out why, now we know why, it's too much sugar for our morning intake, and you're looking for a solution to have it potentially as some type of fun treat treat in the future. Right, because we love our kids, right? We want to hear what they said. I didn't really get it. I bet if they're warmer and you're super hungry and just got off the bus, they might taste amazing. Yeah. But ours are a little cold. Right. So we hear okay. you. We do hear you. Yeah. We care about you. Mm-hmm. However, as your parents would probably say, no for now. Right. You know what I mean? Miss Danya, would you like to bite it? Um, I'll pass. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you. Well, Miss Danya is recording today. We're going to okay. save a pledge with who today? Miss Woodford. Exciting. And then we have another special announcement coming up in the next segment. We have two segments Oh, yeah. Today. I know that one, So too. just wait for it. It won't be as exciting as this. Or maybe no, it is. No, I think it's exciting in a different way. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's all we have for now. Again, I enjoyed asking you to remain focused. I know you did. Boom. And make it a great day, with or without a Cine Mini in your life, right? Right. Good job. Oh! Pride, here we go. Showing perseverance is Kike, Arian, Harper, Nevin, Gigi, Hunter, Vian, Jalen, Charlotte, Diksha, and Edvika. Showing accountability, we have Sid and Vandit, Ellie, Ivy, Annabelle, Rona, Nafla, Bridget, Araf, Kinley, Isaiah, Lucas, Ella, Samuel, and Georgia. Showing community, we have Ruhan, Sodo, Grady, Viola, and showing kindness, we have Lucas and Britta. Thanks, everybody. Check out a special announcement from Miss Berg and Miss Tassler. Hello, Miss Berg. How are you? I am great. How are you? I'm good. Do you know why we're here today? I know why we're here. Why are we? I do. What do you think we're going to do now? We are going to announce the winner of the yearbook competition. (gasps) For the cover. Yeah. Second year in a row, we've had students submit many. We Excellent. Had, yep, we had entries. 138 entries. That's crazy. Yes, we had so many entries and they were really outstanding. They were. So it went through kind of a process, right? Where yep. we first had one group screen through. We narrowed it down to five. Yep. Or six. Well, we narrowed it down to 15. Okay. Then we narrowed it down to five and Ms. Berg picked our winner. No pressure. No pressure. But I'm super excited to have Mrs. Tassler announce the winner of our yearbook cover is... Bettina. Bettina did a beautiful job showing our Northwoods community, our wolf, lots of color. We're very excited about that entry, and I know kids will love to have that on the yearbook cover later this spring. It's the fun run. And the fun run is a big part of our community. It is. Yeah. So Bettina is in Mr. Peterson's class. 
and she did an excellent job on this. Congratulations, Bettina, and where will we see all of the entries hung? I'm gonna hang them up in the art room. The Perfect. top 15 finalists are gonna get hung in the art room. That's so great. Well, thank you for all your work with this. Thank we really you. appreciate it. Are we gonna howl? Are we gonna howl? Let's do it. Oh! I'm in my class for learning about poetry. This is my poem, Winter Words. Huddle under a blanket, so, so cold. Paralyzed from a frost, feels like I'm made of gold. Scared cold outside, every second I say bear. I leave him inside, piling my dogs for it, but still I am cold. I'm watching TV and playing a video game. I hate this freezing weather. For me, it's super lame. I know this freezing weather is not for everyone, but at the end of the day, it's actually pretty fun. Put on winter clothes and my soft jacket. I still have shoes so much I could hit a ball with my racket. I decided to go sledding with my best friend Penny. Hey, summer's not too far away. A few months, not too many. When I got, when I went home, I had a cup of hot cocoa. I still had so much energy. I felt like I was going loco. When it was bedtime, I tried to get to sleep. I tried every way, even counting sheep. But I thought I have another still no day if I go to bed. I felt my cheeks were still rosy red. I woke up the next day for a day of play. There was a kitty who was quite tough. He, he loved to jump and make a big bump. He cried to his mama, I'm sorry, but his mama only loved him more. His fur was fluffy and puffy. He was the best cat ever, and his name was Meow. Spring is fun, so you are like roses. So pretty and red, like the pond so quiet, the crickets come screech, screech. The blooming flowers quiet and soft, but there's nothing like you. You are the best out of all. It wants to break every time. It just wants me to put it in a sharpener for a very long time. And when it sharpens, it breaks. It wants me to put it in again. It breaks again and again, and the cycle never ends. They buzz around my ears, also my peers. The moon rises higher as I hear the cowering of bark. I start to click my jaw as I... Flamingos gathered around with only one foot touching the ground. They see the reflection in the water as the sun rises and the air gets hotter. Then the sun sets and the moon takes the night. The flamingos raise their wings and they all take flight. They fly up high above the picturesque shore, searching for seas, shrimp, algae, and more. They fly as a flock, a smear of pink feathers. The, co the color of sweet can the color is sweet as candy, but as tough as leather. Hi, I'm Steve, and I am on top. Of, I am on top of my older brother Alex. Steve, Alex yelled my name. Get off of me right now! Make me, I said, because I ain't going nowhere. Just get off of me, you fat pig! Alex said. The extra is gonna break the branch. Done.
Now welcome to the stage, Mary the Meerkat, announced the announcer. Yay, muttered Jim, Mary's oldest brother over the growing crowd. Hey, be nice, Jim's mom demanded. Before I could complain any more, the sing started. La, 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 Mary screamed. She was bit by a snake. It was not my idea.